from top sportsmen's to top fabric. Fabric is such a big part of our history beginning in ancient times when primitive people started wearing simple fabrics to, uh, as, as, and then of course today where they're wearing some more remarkable colors and textures and designs. Now with all the latest designs and textiles in fabric, we struggle to stay on trend with what's hot in terms of home fabrics. That's why we've brought the professionals in Mark Shotland from Home Fabrics to update us on the latest trends and designs in fabric. Mark, so good to have you Thanks here. For me, I love talking decor, I love talking trends because I think a lot of times decor uh, kind of also, you know, gets its direction from sure. the world of fashion. Sure. Is fabric a huge role in that? Because when I see a lot of fashion these days, I am astounded at the fabrics that gets used. Sure. Well, I think, yeah, you look, we, with interiors, we draw in from all types of inspiration. Yeah. I think um, fashion is definitely a huge draw card. Um, one of my, my trends that we'll be talking about is Birds of Paradise. And what I thought was so interesting was um, at the Actors Guild Awards, uh, Nicole Kidman walked down the red carpet in this heavily encrusted Gucci Couture McCaw dress. And um, you'll see from today, most of these fabrics are all inspired by um, birds of paradise. So definitely um, fashion, I think um, nature, I think there's also a bit of the past rehashing and, yeah. and coming into more fashion now. Wonderful. So what are the trends that we need to be looking for at the moment? Well, one of my perks of my job is every year I get to travel to Paris. And Ooh, I spend, la, la. And I spend three job. and I spend Tough three life. And I spend three weeks there um, <laughs> sourcing the, the, the latest collections and seeing the trends. And three trends that we've um, picked out at Home Fabrics is definitely um, the birds of paradise. Oh, wow. You can see from some of these um, fabrics See these beautiful kind of budgies on yeah. um, like a broken glass geometric and quite fantastical um, um, prints. So definitely birds of paradise. This is also inspired by a plumage of a parrot. So you can just see like those ruffled feathers. Yeah. So these are from a, a house called Osborne and Little. Um, also, we've got the return of Delft. And you can see some of these... Um, Deconstructed is quite a big word, you know, we yeah. get deconstructed salads, deconstructed burgers, and now we're looking at deconstructed prints, deconstructed prints. And you can see these kind of very loose watercolored mm -hmm. Delft designs that are coming through. Cool. And also one main thing, one, one major trend is um, the theater, and there's definitely a return of the Shakespearean theater, heavily velvet curtains, a lot of braiding, and so on. Very cool. Now, I'm not talking about Donald Trump when I say this, but apparently <laughs> orange is the new black. Is orange that true? is the new black, that's yeah. for sure. I mean, um, it's, it's a color I've always been a little bit wary of, um, but in Paris, everything was orange, burnt yeah. orange, um, bright orange. Most of the, the big uh, editors that we are launching this year have beautiful orange velvets and geometric designs. Yeah. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot of orange coming through. I, I see beautiful color, pops of color, but let's talk about texture <laughs> as well. Like, what's the trend there? Sure. I think um, texture, I think, well, in South Africa, we've always been surrounded by beautiful game farms and lodges and um, a beautiful dry climate. And I think. Texture on texture is big. I mean, from jute rugs to grass cloth wallpapers, beautiful oh. suede wallpapers as well. And I think the real, the beauty is just to mix it all up and mm. bring different tumbled linens together, different neutrals, yeah. Wonderful stuff. Mark Shotland in the house. We will be <laughs> continuing our talk because trends are constantly shifting and we all need a little help to stay on top of all the news. So stay tuned as we continue our chat with Mark on how to incorporate these trends in our house. You and let's talk more DIY. It's my feel good once you know what the trends are, the next step is to find out how to make them work successfully in your own home. We're back on the couch or on the chairs with Mark <laughs> Shotland from Home Fabrics, who is guiding us through the right directions. Now, Mark, I'm very, very excited about this. I want to know, when it comes to upholstery, like where does one begin? Because you've given us so many options, sure. but how does it work? Look, I think the main thing is you need to ask yourself how often is the area going to be used? Because yeah. if it's a high traffic area, we suggest a high rub count. And a rub count is how many times you can literally rub on the fabric before it starts to wear uh -huh. down. So it's called a Martindale rub test. And if you, if it's for uh, an occasional chair that you're not really going to offer, uh, often use or a headboard, you can work, you can look at about the 20,000 rub count. And anything for contract, so that's hotels or a, a sofa in your TV room or if you've got lots of children or anywhere there's high traffic, we suggest a, a fabric over 25,000 rubs. So okay. when you're sourcing a fabric, always look behind and it will tell you the rub count. It's a very important tool okay. um, to use. And then of course, I mean at Home Fabrics we've got hundreds of collections of, yeah. of light upholstery and uh, high upholstery um, items with yeah, 
That's wonderful. So there's already been somebody that's gone, what is different, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Yeah, <laughs> someone like, uh, in the old days, I think it would be like that Nazis really sexy <laughs> machine that kind of rubs it and rubs yeah, it and rubs yeah. it and rubs it, yeah. Okay, awesome stuff. Now, and as South Africans, I think we spend a lot of time outside. We've got yeah. great weather, it's fantastic. What kind of fabric should we be considering when we are thinking about outside okay, furniture? You have to, especially in South Africa, our sun is so harsh, use 100% yeah. acrylic fabric. Oh. Um, at Home Fabrics we've got a brand called UV Pro and it is a UV Pro. It's actually based on yachting fabric so it's 100% mm. all weather outdoors. It's mildew free, chlorine yeah. free and um, you can just leave it outside, um, rain, yeah. sunshine, yeah. all of it. Um, Designers Guild is also, this is a new collection we're going to be launching in March. Yeah. Um, Designers Guild is one of our, our big brands that we, we um, distribute and they have taken their best designs and now put it on an outdoor fabric. So it's really beautiful very and we're nice. very excited about that. Yeah. And then of course, what fabric should we be considering for the bedroom? Well, something sexy I would say. <laughs> um, look, uh, it really comes down to personal taste. Yeah. If, you, if you're into glamour, I mean beautiful velvets, we've got silks. Um, beautiful um, trimmings you can use. Wallpaper is such a huge trend. If you're a little bit scared of wallpaper, do an accent wall behind your bed. Um, but wallpaper is becoming more and more um, yeah. popular, and we even have beautiful wallpapers that you can put on your ceiling. So I uh, just wallpaper everything. Love, love, <laughs> yeah. love. Well, that makes me so excited to, to just know what, what is available out there. But tell me more about Home Fabrics. What is happening with you guys in the future? Okay, well, Home Fabrics, yeah, it's been, we've had a great start to the year. Um, we're launching 40 local collections this wow. year. So that's a lot of fabric. We've got about 100 fabrics per collection um, so that's really exciting and they are 80% environmentally free or well, 80% of the collection so they no humans or animals yeah. or anyone's harmful in the making um, and of course we'll be launch launching all our international collections this year uh, in March and opening two new showrooms later in the year so very excited very exciting yeah. times indeed Mark thank you so much Thanks. for joining thank us you. and of course telling us about the exciting world of home and decor and fabrics and oh, it's all really beautiful awesome thank you for having me wonderful stuff so there you have it home fabrics <coughs> 101 the best thing is you don't have to completely redo a room you can simply just update it with a few new textiles now from the bedroom to the patio you can just have fun. That's exactly what we're having on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. G and Z, what's up next?